All right, guys, Jake Sleesman, Derek Young, Blue Collar Outdoors. And today, we're hitting the old TK7 again. Now, y'all saw it. Moose shot it out of his dad's 870 with the Jebs. So now we're going to put it through my Mossberg 500 with a Pattern Master Anaconda. Out of my Remington 20 gauge 870 with a Pattern Master Cold Black Turkey. All right, so we're going to be shooting it at 40 yards again. Now, this load didn't shoot too, too hot out of uh, Moose's dad's gun. So we're going to see if it's any different or if it's the same deal. But 40 yards, let's get after it. I'll shoot first, and then we'll shoot it through the Code Black Turkey second. We're going to put the old TK7 penetrator through the Anaconda at 40 yards. I'll shoot the left target. Let's see if it's any different. TK7 penetrator, 40 yards. Here goes nothing, boy. Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. All right, first up, this is the TK7 through my Mossberg 500 with the Pattern Master Anaconda. You get five in the vitals, all in the brain. I mean, it it's an open pattern. It's, it's not ideal by no means, but if you're in a pinch, this is a low budget round. It will get the job done, but there's better tungsten loads to be shot than this. This is out of my Remington 870 with a Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. And uh, I really don't really know what to say about it. It's not that good at all. I mean, it's still a dead bird, but it's just the pattern is garbage. Absolutely garbage. All right, so the Kent TK7 penetrator out of all three of our 20 gauge setups, I mean, it's garbage. I wouldn't say it's garbage, but there's a lot better tungsten loads on the market. If you're going to buy tungsten, invest in it. I would shoot Apex. It's just, there's better loads. But this is Jake Sleesman. This is Derek Young from Blue Collar Outdoors. If you haven't, Make sure you like and subscribe. We post videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, take it easy. Don't shoot TK7.